Oh man, look at this. All this snow. We had about, I'd say, two or three inches a couple days ago, but it's melted a little bit nicely. Ah, and I see that the solar panel has cleared itself off. That's good to hear. <clears throat> Yesterday it did have a little, some blotches of snow on it, and the day before it did, it did have a thick layer covering it all. But that's good to know that the black surface of the solar panels did indeed heat up enough to melt the snow away. Batteries look to be doing pretty good. Looks to be pretty dry inside. 13.8 volts. It's on float charge. Panel's at 21 volts. Pulling 0.4 of an amp. It's given 2.4 kilowatt hours now. I really need to start pulling power from these batteries. So I'm going to look for a box to put the inverter in so the inverter doesn't get wet. I may just put it in a bag too. Okay, so here we have the inverter connected up. It's inside of a Ziploc bag to keep it all nice and waterproof. And in this kind of weather, I'm not too worried about it overheating. Especially whenever it's uh, being worked at such a low power that it doesn't even turn on the fan anyway. But let's turn it on. And then the power cable goes around the house, over here, and into the back door. Now I have this door kind of shut off and have a blanket kind of pushed in around it because it doesn't seal too well and it's pretty cold. It's 15 degrees outside. But I have the wire coming in through here, going up here. I have screws holding the wire in place. And that goes over from that screw over to this screw, which goes through the hallway or pantry, whatever you want to call it, to this screw, which goes around here, through the door, which I cut a slit into the trim it goes behind the door over here and that goes over to the light huh, it's humming really bad In the last video we had a 100 watt incandescent bulb, but now we replaced it with a 26 watt fluorescent bulb. Unfortunately though, I just noticed now that whenever I plug it in and turn it on, running off the inverter, it hums way bad. It looks like I'm going to have to find an inverter that puts out pure sine wave instead of modified sine wave because with this it doesn't work on the first setting sometimes and then second and third are the same brightness and it makes that bad humming sound so I'm thinking it's something that's not right on that well great I'm back on grid power now it looks like the modified sine wave killed the CFL it's buzzing right bad before it wouldn't even turn on but I don't know I'll just put the old one back in and I'll run it at 30 watts because that'll also help heat up the room. Just slightly. So here we are back on inverter power at 30 watts. It brightens up the place a little bit. And it's pulling the voltage down to 12.8 volts. It's, it's pretty good. Managing to pull less than 0.1 of an amp from the panels because it's pretty much evening now. We'll see how that goes. Well, it's the next day, and it looks like the cold weather hasn't helped at all. 12.1 volts. Let's turn that off. That's a shame. I mean, these batteries are very inefficient. It's giving 0.5 an amp into the batteries. 
Hmm. Well, that's kind of a shame. It looks like I'll have to keep these batteries warmer. Maybe above freezing. Hmm. So this inverter has has been pulling three amps from the battery bank for about I'd say 16 hours. So that's only like 48 amp hours. Hmm. That's how I would have expected one battery to handle, not all seven of them. The the only thing I can think of is it's just the cold. Well, it's been like three weeks or so. I can't remember what I filmed before this, so I'll just slap it together in the in Adobe Premiere. And I haven't checked on this battery system in a while. 13.8 volts. It's maintaining the batteries really well. I'm going to detach these. Because I don't need that on there. The batteries all look fine, and this is doing a good job of maintaining the batteries, but I don't think it's a huge deal. And also, one issue is, I'm kind of losing interest in this for now, just because it's so fucking cold, and it's only going to get colder. And I don't want to be messing with this when it's like negative 12 degrees. So I'm going to turn this off. And I say, I'm, I'm going to put all this stuff away for a little bit couple months and I'll work on it in the spring it's just not a good well it's kind of become evident that I'm probably gonna need a lot more solar power to get much done and also I'm gonna have to probably keep the batteries warm during the winter so I'll have to probably like dig like a little like hole in the ground to have like a sunken shed type thing I don't know but this is pretty fun so I'd say that the Solar Sunday series is going on hold for a little bit. I'm quite happy with these little jumpers I made. They're quite useful. I might get some more of these alligator clips and just make a bunch of them. It'd be really nice to be able to find some extremely soft wire. Because I remember like... It's, it's really hard to find really pliable wire. Like, for instance, the Nintendo Entertainment System controllers had some of the softest wire I've ever felt. It's just so easy to bend it. I don't know if it's the kind of rubber they use on it or what. Because I've actually killed some electronic devices because the wire on the jumpers was too stiff. Because it would get in the way and like the jumper would pop off because the wire, wire would act like a spring and it would, it would pop and hit something else. That's how I killed my first uh, 10 to 80 volt step up transformer. This is actually for the best though, because it'd be a good idea to let these sit for a couple months to see which ones drop down the most, so I can know which ones, if any of them, have a bad self-discharge rate. And these ones are definitely bad, but I'll keep them around just for fun. It's amazing how every year I forget how winter sucks.
so much here and it's not even in winter yet still got a lot of lot quarter to go oh well hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching see ya